Yeah, the first thing that you're going to need to starting makeup, I started makeup when I was about 13 years old. Now, I know that some girls are wearing it in 6th grade and it's just kind of like, you know, it's up to you if you are in 6th grade and you want to wear makeup, but you don't need to wear heavy makeup, just, you know, a light lip gloss and maybe one color of eyeshadow, a light, light, light color all over your lid and mascara and then maybe a brown eyeliner not black, you don't want to go too harsh because you do want to look your age. You have beautiful skin at younger ages and um, you just want to keep it that way. And I know like in media today they hype up like looking older and everything but I'll tell you that my mom always tells me. And so I will repeat it. When you're older and you're in your 30s and 40s you're gonna want to look younger. So why try to make yourself look older right now when you are younger? Because this is kind of weird, because when you're little you want to look older, but when you're older you want to look younger. It's just like, we want what we don't have, is pretty much what it is. We complain. But um, to keep your skin looking young, you always want to take your makeup off at night, because leaving your eye makeup on will um, age your eyes and also cause wrinkles, and leaving foundation on can cause blemishes, blemishes can cause scars, and just make you feel uncomfortable. So you're going to want to get some makeup wipes. Now the best makeup wipes that I found, I like these better than the MAC wipes, are the Say Yes to Cucumbers and therefore they're um, hyperallergenic facial towelettes and it gets your makeup off. This is I think the best um, makeup remover ever. I just got the small pack to try it but they do have a big large pack and I'm going to have to go back and get that. But this stuff is absolutely amazing. Sorry, my nail like broke, so we're gonna lose his hand. But these are absolutely amazing. They smell like cucumbers. They smell very nice. Sometimes my Mac wipes hurt my eyes and they kind of make it burn my eyes a little bit. But this is absolutely amazing. These um, don't drag your makeup on your face. They take your makeup off just smoothly and nicely. So I definitely suggest these. These are absolutely amazing. I got this little package for $2. And I think the big ones are $10 if that. But you definitely want to have a good makeup remover. So I mean if you wanted to go and buy a pack of... I think the big pack was maybe like a pack of 100 or something. I don't remember. Don't quote me on that. But these are absolutely amazing. I like these better than MAC wipes. Then you're going to want a mirror because whether you're doing your, that's kind of just obvious, but whether you're doing your makeup in your uh, bathroom, you don't want to leave your makeup in your bathroom. The humidity from your bathroom and moisture in the air can actually ruin your makeup. But um, and just having like a mirror that you can hold in your hand to like look at like your makeup up close. So like if I'm doing my eyeliner, I can look like really close because sometimes doing eyeliner and like a far away mirror is very hard. So I definitely suggest a mirror. And this is actually my Hello Kitty mirror. You can get this at Target. Now, speaking of Target, since we're on that subject, I will just go to the makeup that you can get at Target. <clears throat> I haven't found it anywhere else. I guarantee you can find it somewhere else, but I don't know where you can get it. Um, it's e.l.f. Now, I only have a few e.l.f. products, but... um. I have an eyeliner from e.l.f. I do not like their lip glosses. They are very sticky. I don't like them. I don't think they're good quality. But their eyeliner is very good. Um, this is, I mean, the packaging looks very cute, very sleek. It kind of reminds me of MAC a little bit. Um, it says e.l.f. Eyes, lip, and face. I keep showing my fingernail. It's broken. It's driving me insane. But this is the eyeliner, and it's in black, and it's just gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? Maybe I can, like, stick my broken finger... In here. I mean, it's just a very dark color. Looks like that. It's a very dark color. So this black eyeliner is very good, very creamy. I honestly like this better. This has been my favorite eyeliner so far. I do like the Milani eyeliner, so definitely go check that out. I'll try to have that in a video later. Now the Owl, bleh, bleh, I can't talk. The Elf um, brand actually comes where you can make your own palette. Oops. You can make your own palette. And it comes with the mirror. It's like a little compact. But these are, and they're all a dollar each except the compact. And I think that's three dollars. So, actually, maybe the compact's a dollar. Yeah, it's, the compact is a dollar. And I'll just reach in my makeup drawer. See how easy this is? I can just reach in my makeup drawer. I have two. And one is more of my fall colors and one is more 
of my neutrally colors. That looks like that. These are my two one. My sponges keep falling. But these are what they look like. And e.l.f. is very pigmented, actually. I was very, very surprised. I'll just swatch one of the darker colors and one of the lighter colors. If you can see these two, these are extremely pigmented. I barely touch them. I will show you just so like some, I don't know why. People would think this, but see, I barely touched it. And I already got some off. But that ground, it's like a very, very light pink. So... I mean, see how pigmented that is? That's ridiculous for, you know, how much you pay for it, so. But then you're going to want a cream eyeshadow. And Revlon has a very good cream eyeshadow. Hiding that fingernail. Revlon has a very good cream eyeshadow. And um, this one is in, well, Orchards. And this is a purple color. You do want a cream eyeshadow. Now, you can get any color that you want, but I think their cream eyeshadow is pretty good. So definitely go check the Revlon cream eyeshadow out. For lip products, I would definitely check out Rimmel London. They have gorgeous lipsticks. Here's one of their lipsticks. I love these. I say that I use these like I use my MAC lipsticks, and this was in Latino. And then Rimmel London also has a, a Stay Glossy lip gloss, and this is the best drugstore lip gloss that I've ever tried. It's absolutely amazing, very shiny, and it's perfect. Then the Wet n Wild has Wet n Wild is also a for brand that you'll definitely want to try it if you're just trying out makeup. And they have these new lipsticks that are um very, very nice. And this one is in 907C and it looks like that. But it is just this gorgeous pinky color. And it's just a matte pink. Moving on to blush, um, I only have one, well, I don't, I'll scratch that. Cut this part out. Now for blush, I like to use, um, I don't really like the Wet n Wild blush, stay away from that, but I like to use full, blah, 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 blah. I like to use Physician's Formula for blush. And it looks like that. It's a gorgeous color. Definitely try this out. This is expensive. It's ten dollars for for a blush. I got this at Walmart. Go check out Walmart. It's cheaper. Granted, I'm used to buying blush that's more expensive than that. But you know, the drugstore haul. You know. And then this is Milani blush, and this is absolutely gorgeous. And this is in Dulce Pink, and it's number one. And the other one was in rose, but it just looks like that. With a smudge of black for my shadow. Sorry about that. Oops. And they do come with brushes and mirrors. But, you know, I don't really like the blushes. Now for mascara, um, my favorite is the Falsies Volume Express. And it is by Maybelline. So it's my favorite mascara. Now for eyeshadows, along with the other ones, I love the NYC individual eye kit. For, this is created for brown eyes. I did a tutorial on this. I will link that tutorial down below. But I love this eye kit. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's just perfect for um, brown eyes. And they also have different colors for different color eyes. Now I have a bunch of, um, I have a bunch of Wet n Wild trios. And um, this is just one I grabbed. It's called Walking on Eggshells. I have a tutorial already made of this, but um, I will have to upload it. I haven't uploaded it yet. It looks like this. And that is very, very pretty. And I'll just show you my other ones. I have, I'm getting sunburned. Knocking on Wood, and Sweet as Candy. Now you can get these at Walgreens or CVS. I suggest Walgreens. They're a little cheaper than CVS, but anyway. So I hope you guys like this video. Please leave a comment below, like the video, and also please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to get more subscribers to be able to do a giveaway. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later.